what is going on guys I hope everyone is having a great day today I wanted to kind of dive into the big discussion in bodybuilding with high reps now there's a big discussion on high reps as to if you should do it as to if it's anabolic if it helps you at all whatsoever and I just wanted to give my thoughts on it most people train in the rep range of anywhere from 6 to 12 reps you know six at the lower range of bodybuilding, even down into five, and then up to 12. And there are arguments that over 12 reps, then you're just doing cardio. But here's the thing. Most people psychologically, when you get to 20 reps and above, you're kind of just lifting the weight, going through the motion, trying to get it over with because you're just bored with the amount of reps that you're doing. Or you see it as a cardio exercise, so you're just kind of doing reps with the weight. Most people, when they do 20 to 30 reps, they're, they're like 50 to 75% max effort. So that means if this person, if this individual, say, is doing the 20 pound dumbbells for three sets of 20 reps, and they're doing it at 50%, they could actually be doing three sets of almost 40 reps and still have a rep left in the tank. But no one does that with high reps. Everyone sees high reps as this really super lightweight and just kind of like playing around type of thing. No one uses 20 rep sets to 30 rep sets with like heavy weight and putting actual effort and intensity into it. Now on the other hand, psychologically, most people when they do around 10 rep sets, they're much more accurate on hitting an 80 to a 90 percent effort or threshold of what they can do on a given set which means they're hitting 90 percent of their max effort on that set. Most of the time when you're hitting like a set on bench press or squat and you're hitting it for 10 reps you, you have either one rep left in the tank or that 10th rep was difficult and one rep extra would be really really hard to get to. Heck even most of the time when people get down to four to six reps when you're down that low, you're literally like right there. You're like 90 to 95 percent. That's what you can do and it would be harder to get anymore. When people get all the way up to 20 to 30 reps, they just don't train that way anymore. They just train like, let me just use some light weight and kind of rep it out. They don't have the same mentality at 20 to 30 reps that they had at four to six to even 10. My general rule of thinking is, is high reps are fine. If you can train with high reps at 90%, then you will get some great results. The thing is, if you would take someone that normally trains 6 to 8 to even 10 reps on some days and then put them on 20 reps, psychologically they think, oh, this is my deload, have fun day, and they would just train 20 reps with 20 reps left in the tank. If you would tell these people, find out what your 1 rep max is, right? If you would tell these people, find out what your one rep max is, right? And then do one set for 20 reps of 55% to 60% of your one rep max, and then try to do that for a couple of sets, we'll, we'll see who looks at high reps as not so good anymore. Try doing 30 reps at 40% of your one rep max. Try doing 40 reps at 25% of your one rep max. Play around with stuff like that, and you might not knock high reps anymore. I think that high reps can be a valuable part of your routine, put in the right place. I'm someone that likes low reps, anywhere from 3 to 5, I like 8 to 12, I like 12 to 20, and occasionally I like 30 rep sets. 40 reps, well, I'm working on it, but right now I'm just going to leave that for Doug Miller. At the end of the day, guys, you really have to look at your intensity level on a set. It's not just about the amount of sets or the amount of reps or weight. It comes down to how intense are you on those sets? How much of yourself are you putting in each set? Are you at 50%, 75%, or are you pushing 90 to 95% of what you can on your sets? That's how you're going to get results, guys. Hope this helps, and you guys have a great day. I will talk to you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All love.